Yo, people, Tifa here with Fibbly TV. I've got Iron Sharp K9, and this is Iron Sharp's bike toy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real though, this is a guy who's been rocking with him since what day one, basically, right? Much, this is much. this a this a day oneer. Go ahead and tell him how you got involved with this whole thing, man. I got involved. I was scared of dogs, and I went out there the first day and got bit by Rocco, and been out there since. Looked ever since, huh? And you got a dog. You got a dog yourself now. Yeah, I got an eight-month-old. German Shepherd named Creed. Okay. Whenever they talk it, make sure you get up close to him because this mic is good, but ain't that good. <laughs> uh, and and so now that you've been bit enough, what's the next move for you? Uh, now I'm on get my dog in the sports PSA training, and me and Stan gonna build him up. There you go. There you go. How you feel about this dog, man? You got a good uh, you you an assessor? You you, <laughs> hey. you got to tell your man the truth. I don't know nothing about dog, mind you. I've never seen the dog. I don't know what the dog look like yet. Nah, the dog's nice. I mean, he does. He has high drive. He's not afraid of nothing. I mean, we've been socializing him since he's been what, six, six weeks, weeks old. We've had him around gunshots, hey. oh, loud noises, swimming pools with bottles. A lot of different shit. So he don't really care about too much now. He just, all right, Daddy wants me to go. Let's go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Well, we know the important. Well, we know the importance of desensitization and what it means to get your dog comfortable and keeping your dog confident in all aspects of its life. So today, a little bit more storytelling. Do a little light work. We're gonna learn from Stan. Learn from his. Is uh, I don't know. What do you call him? That's twin. That's twin. That's twin. That's Twinisha right there. <laughs> That's twin boy. They got the same uh, intent. Uh, Jamel, I've seen him. What? Well, well, no, he. I call him twin because he actually has a twin. You got a twin? Yeah. The fuck? And, and when I first met him, I never could tell him apart. So I'd be like, "Hey, what up, twin?" And he'd be like, "Hey, what up, twin?" So I was never wrong. Where your twin at? He don't. He don't. He don't, he don't, he don't. He don't like dogs either. Yeah, he scared dogs. Y'all both got the same. Well, twins. It makes sense. Yeah. You chose to come, overcome your fear. He said, "Fuck that. I ain't fucking with them dogs." Nah, Dang, that's crazy. I didn't know you had no twin. What well, shit? We learn something new every day, people. There you go. There you go. Yo, people. Hey, uh, Cujo, come on. You're going to mess up my shot. Make sure the mic's on here. Yep, mic's on. Listen, people, this right here is a back tie. We talked about a back tie last time. Um, we're going to attempt to use this again. Um, I didn't bring his harness, unfortunately, the harness harness. So we're going to do the best we can. But this thing here, you can scoop it up. Look at that. Ties to this tree. And literally, just like a zip line, I can tie it, bring it all the way over here. We can go back and forth. What I think it be. Um, I really want it up, but it also you also have to be realistic because the dog he's, he can't be elevated. He ain't glide nowhere. We got to bring ego out, get him wrapped up. So stay tuned. When you're ready for this. Now what we're about to do here is stand walking through what's about to happen. While we're doing this. All right. So dogs are yeah, really up. dogs are really jealous creatures. So we like to use another dog to get the other dog more interested in something. So. Eagle's already at this certain level. We're gonna use Creed, who's obviously very high energy over there, and he really wants to go. So we're gonna make sure Ego knows that it's okay to go as hard as you can every time, no matter what's in front of you, whether it's a, a rag, whether it's a towel, or whether it's a bite sleep, that we're gonna try to get him amped up on. So we're gonna make sure that we raise the level of competition for Ego when he's seeing another dog work, and we're gonna use that to our advantage to raise his level of bite. Oh, <laughs> 
boy, he go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good boy, Ego. Good boy. Fight. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good Him out of my shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other thing, so I do this with a full time of episode so that you can pick up the gimbal while you're here and get some shots of that stuff. Gotcha. I Yo, think people, listen. You see this right here? This man is getting chewed up. What you just watched <laughs> is a non stop play. Uh, tell them what you just did or what was the. Yeah, catch your breath. Catch your breath. Uh, so, again, we talked about it earlier. We just wanted to make Ego know that this kind of work is fun, it's competitive. So, we get another male dog. Obviously, the testosterone's in there. And we got him amped up, doing a little short sins by him watching this other dog do longer sins. So we're just going to keep building ego up brick by brick until we get that finished masterpiece that we're looking for. And mind you, last week, people, ego got fixated on the, the strap little thing. Mm -hmm. And that's all you want to play with. So you got to start solving those problems as well. So now we don't even bring the strap out, bring in the bite pillows and the bite stuff. And now, mm -hmm. you know, he basically his game. If you went over and picked it up, he'd keep it on his like He'd be like, no, this is mine. Yep. <laughs> so we just want to keep changing that material. So the, the difference between the sack and the tug and the bite pillows, they're going to be different material. He has to use different grip strength and all of that kind of stuff. So we just want to make sure he knows that it's okay and he can do it. And Again, when he wins, we slip it, let him go run off. Trevor praises him, and he yeah. gets real cocky. Yeah, exactly. And mind you, he's only, I think, nine months old. No, he ain't even nine months. He's like eight months old. Yeah, he's still young. <laughs> he's still young. He's just like the fifth time, fifth or sixth, maybe, that we've worked on. fourth. Yeah. Realistically. Because this is the second time from the time we did it in the field yeah. that he came out. So, And that was just really the first time, realistically. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this might be four sessions. Yeah, this is about four times. So, And we're just beginning. I haven't been here enough to work obedient stuff with Ego to be clear, but trust me, at some point I'll turn around, move my hand, and he'll sit. Yeah, we should <laughs> get on his ass. Yeah, man. he'll stay late. <laughs> uh, but yeah, stay tuned, people. Signing off. Yep.